Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS A864D video, we take a look at the attitude position and velocity hold modes. Now, for the position mode, many of you consider this a essentially a hover hold mode, but the operative word here is hold, meaning that it's not a magical button that you press and it places the helicopter uh, automatically into a hover. Rather, you first need to manually uh, fly the helicopter into a stable hover, meaning five knots or less of ground speed, and then you initiate the hold mode that will maintain that hover position. In a similar manner with the velocity hold mode, that you'll first need to establish yourself in the velocity you want uh, before you initiate the velocity hold. Uh, further, with any attitude uh, hold mode, you'll first want to uh, essentially center the trim by going uh, FTR or force trim release and resetting it. So that way it gives the FMC or the flight management computer uh, the most possible range to move the controls around to maintain that hold. Now, speaking of controls, let's take a look at the basic ones we're gonna be using today. So go to adjust controls, AH64D pilot, go to cyclic stick, and first we have force trim, hold mode switch left that's going to be the attitude selection and then we have up for the FTR or the force trim release. And as you may recall from an earlier video there are three different attitude modes based on your speed. So from 0 to 5 knot it's going to be position or hover and then from 6 to 40 it's going to be velocity and above that will be attitude. Okay, so next I'm going to uh, pick up the collective, put myself into a hover, probably around 10 feet or so. Once I'm established there, I will FTR or force trim release to set that new trim position. And then if things are stable, I'll go ahead and go left on the trim switch uh, to initiate the attitude position hold mode. Okay, force trim release. Center up a little bit more. Now I'll go left. Now I've completely released my hands from the cyclic. And now this is all the hold mode by itself. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn on the bob up so you can better see. And all I would really be doing at this point is uh, using the collective to adjust my altitude. But of course, a little bit later, we'll also be adding uh, the altitude hold mode as well. But you can see here, uh, once I've established myself, it's uh, very stable. And uh, I could do all sorts of fun things at this point, even eat a ham sandwich. Okay, now let's take a look at velocity hold mode. Okay, so with attitude velocity hold mode, what I'll be doing is I'll establish uh, airspeed between 6 and 40 knots. I think I'll probably shoot for about 30. And once I do so, I'll press forward on the trim switch to reset my trim center. And once I feel that is nice and stabilized, I'll go left on the trim switch to select attitude velocity hold mode. So right over here, I'll go ahead and go uh, forward establish my new trim center and then left and now I've established the attitude velocity hold mode which you can see indicated as the box around the airspeed up on the uh, helmet display unit. If I start to increase my collective you can see that the uh, airspeed still stays about the same it'll vary maybe uh, two to three knots at most. And I start to bring the collector down and decrease altitude, again, you can see that the airspeed stays about the same. And if you wanted to uh, discontinue it, uh, just go left again on the trim switch. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video on the uh, attitude, position, and velocity modes, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.